Ya ma shofu ina kwa ba eroba amisi TV yes and then baby P will still tell us what you are we will say Ghana flag and a hatter eh can say adaka huwa we will say then of course eh the former eh former blaster captain Yimandro Awule Kwe what I say 1978 one more and one more African Cup final one more more quote the first crew eh the man eh the man blaster yes Yimandro Awule Kwe or say a former player Emma Great Olympics into in the ocean it will still tell us. And yet, uh, on a quiet bush and for any people who are yes, Nana Ado Danqua, a good father, the president of Ghana, et me abba abba penny respect at the Amma Yumandred Awili Queen as a, for, a former blaster captain for 1978. A group of Mutumu Kwaje, the African Cup at the man on my blaster, yes, and I was a okay commente as a GFA president, on also at me baby Pimoha, a Osha Great Olympics for. A former Great Olympics members, House of Folk members, who women at my BP, it will stay there. So, I'm going to do a morning day ever better. The former blaster captain, Yamandre Awule Kwe, Echi Emma, a blast, a Jumo to me, a Edema or Mino, Etimi, Akoye, yes. In two shame one, the kind of saying, the former Great Olympics members, House of Folk members, in our heart. Omudu mo nimdi e ba betai e yimandwe a wule kwe ne juma deni a obeye e de ma blaster abro tumi j ne first crew a e de ma blaster as a captain on 1970 1978 group a omutimu kujie the African Cup e de ma mani tini yeshe the videos the highlights ni yako so e wo state house yimandwe a wule kwe the juma deni a obeye e de ma mani yeshe videos ni anything there don't forget to subscribe like and share when I drop any video be the part of the family I say thank you. In his formative years, he was swayed away too far away Takradi by one of his loving aunties, Mrs. Comfort Ega. He lived in Takradi for a considerable number of years and finally came to Accra to live with his parents. Because he left as a child to Takradi, 
He came back speaking fancy. His parents got him enrolled at the Han School in Corregona to continue with his education he had had from Takradi. So it was in the province of Corregona, a suburb of Accra, that Awuli started learning the Ghana language. Early and football life. He attended the armed school in Corregona near the Tuesday market and was promoted to the Avenue 6 cluster of schools, now Choco Boys. His talent in football was seen from his days as a child. He played for his school team and was just talented. One Mr. Tete saw this good God-given talent in Awuli and his reason for accepting him in the school. This didn't stop there as Mr. Tete took him to play in the 14th division from young Kotoko, for young Kotoko at the Collegonum Methodist Church Park. He was later promoted to the 512 division and played for young Ghanaians with the likes of Adokwe Adu, who later became Arts of Oak dependable goalkeeper and co, and was the captain of their team. He also played for Mamprobi Black Stars in the Mamprobi Enclave. Awuli, due to his respect and disciplined nature, had a call up into the Greater Accra National Football Team. Because of his enormous talent and depth in the game, he had scholarship to continue his education at the Emmett Electronic School in Kanish in 1969. Accra Arts of Folk saw this talent and lured him to play for them. He indeed played just a single game for arts. Reasons were that his grandfather, Mr. E. C. Obliti, founder of Accra Great Olympics, had it known that his talented grandson was donning the phobia colors. He immediately recruited him from Accra Arts of Folk to Accra Great Olympics. He played for Dade, the junior side of Accra Great Olympics, with Awudu Nelson, Peter Lamte, Joseph Ayubi, Ben Ankara, Jones, Atuko Fiu, and the likes. Awule worked his way through the ranks and joined the senior team playing and rubbing shoulders with the elders of the game. He became the captain of this great club winning trophies for the Daddy Boys. Some of the honors are one, 1974 league, two, 1975 knockout, three, 1976 champions of champions, and four, 1977 Guinness Gala. He played with the most of his daddy friends and later met the likes of P. Lati, Shitumuda, Christian Madus, Saban Amund, Ubli Amund, Billy Lomuti, Dan Borti, Don Borti's father, Ajay Kinsi, Olele, and Lai's father, George Alassa, the Kayode brothers, Akwe McLean, now the current Udoko Manji, the late Isaac Akwe, Disco Face, to mention a few. Awule, due to his in depth and understanding of the game at a call up into the national football team, the Black Stars, the dream of every player, and was a major part of the 1978 team that won the African Cup of Nations for Kiefs in the mighty days of General Ignatius Kuntu Achampo, not only as a player, but a captain. He was a captain par excellence. He did this great feat with the likes of Abdul, Abdul Razak, Golden Boy, Ukupu Afriye, Adolf Ama, the late Ufe Ansa, P.S.K. Baha, Almighty Kuku Daz, Dribbling Machine, Mohamed Polo, the late Isaac Akwe, Still Hans, Juka, etc. He worked with the City Pants Giok Division, and there was a clause by the authorities that if you don't play for them, you have no business doing anything with them. 
So this made him shift his attention from Giyok to Ghana Food Distribution Corporation, GFDC. He worked there for about two years and was playing for Olympics. His humble and respected nature earned him a place in the art of one of the patrons of Olympics, who paved way for him to work at the Ghana Commercial Bank, a place he worked all his life and finally retired in 2008. He later became a team manager for his beloved team Accra Great Olympics for some time, marital life. In the line of duty, for you caught the eyes of Madam Rebecca Nakoka and their arts were knit together. They later tied the knot and started life. By the grace of God, the marriage was blessed with four lovely children, Mavis, Aulikwe Jini, Lawrence, and Laurencia. Church life. Aule was baptized into the Anglican faith and attended the St. George's Anglican Church, Choco, near Ojo Cemetery, as a chorister. Due to his football training shadows, demand on the chorister job wasn't conducive for him and made him rather join the men's fellowship group, which was quite spacey due to his career. He never took his God for granted and was always punctual and played pivotal and active roles, respectively, in the church. For you, was very instrumental in the affairs of the men's fellowship and took it to the arts doing and serving his maker all the days of his life. We have indeed lost a national hero, a great captain, an inspirer, a counselor, a friend, and a family treasure. If we would write about him, this book can't contain all of his adventure. The legend left behind a wife, siblings, children, grandchildren, and a host of relations to mourn who. Awuli, the black for you. Milisku, Yee, Weku, Gadami, the Ghana be fame. Sleep well. Amen. The world needs to know why I have always called you Willie instead of Emmanuel. Not only did you gain a name in football, but also a great athlete in your days. A master in playing cards, which earned you the name, nickname Willie School. Though your looks, fame, and smile were, were um, attractive to me from afar. Yet I saw you dedication, I saw your dedication, devotion, seriousness, and the mastery you have. You have over everything. I knew by instinct that you will be a caring husband a disciplined and loving father to our children, and a hard-working man who will stop at nothing to feed his family. And I thank God my heart was right by accepting your proposal. You ate my food as if I was the best cook on earth. Eating outside was a taboo to you. Therefore, even if your stomach is full, from cramping, you leave a small space for my food. Your love for me was unconditional to the extent that my favorite drink was yours too. Me. 
removed from club beer to ABC. Becky Van Quinn. Yeah, Becky Quinn, Army Club. We, we, <laughs> we did things together to our friends named as Romeo and Juliet. I know we vowed to live together till death, separate us, but it is impossible because your love goes beyond the grave. And my submission to your life, and my, my submission to you lives on, just as the good book demanded in Ephesians chapter 5. Never in a day have I regretted accepting your ring. You became my heart sweet, gradually, to your dying moment, when I was feeding you, only on your sick bed. That fateful day, you looked at me, and I gave, you looked at me and gave me a replica of your smile on our first date. I knew the die is cast. I immediately prayed to the Almighty to give you a, a peaceful exit. And lo, and behold, my prayer was answered. Really, school? Really? Oshakunai, Neowale, Odin, Din, Kokoko, Yawo, Ujuba. Rest in perfect peace. Till we meet, till we meet, God be with us to meet again. Till we meet. to a legendary Black Stars captain by the government of Ghana. Matthew chapter 5, the verse 5. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. With profound sadness and deep reverence, we mourn the person of a true icon of Ghanaian football, Awilokwe Senior. As gallant former captain of the Blasters, I will appear his legacy surpasses mere victories on the pitch and its exploits symbolize the spirit of leadership, resilience, compassion, and dedication to all spheres of life. I will appear journey in football began from the dusty fields of Choco and Corregon during his youthful days and rose to the pinnacle of football, greatness, which is a testament to his indomitable spirit and passion for the sport. His skillful play, strategic brilliance, and unwavering commitment to the team earned him the respect and admiration of fans and fellow players alike. As captain, I will equate let the Black Stars with distinction, guiding the team through trials and challenges, and always exemplified the values of sportsmanship. His leadership, both on and off the field, inspired generations of footballers and instilled a sense of pride in the hearts of every Ghanaian. Through his exceptional leadership skills, he led the Black Stars team to win the 1978 African Cup of Nations trophy on home soil and earned the country a historic third African Nations trophy. Beyond playing in the national team, Awilakwe Senior was a staunch defender for Accra Great Olympics football team and exhibited the same zeal and tenacity he displayed in the national team 
to the Great Olympus Global Black Club. I signed his exploits at Fulwala. I will appear was a role model, a mentor, a pillar of strength within his community. His generosity, humility, and genuine love for his country endeared him to all who had the privilege of knowing him. Today, as we bid farewell to a legend, we celebrate Awile Kwe's remarkable legacy, an indelible mark he has left in the history of Ghana football. Though he may no longer grace the pitch with his presence, his spirit will forever live in the hearts of those who continue to be inspired by his remarkable journey of his. May his legacy serve as a guiding spirit for future generations of footballers and a reminder of the power of sports that unites, inspires, and preserves. Farewell, Captain Awilekwe Senior. Your legacy will be permanently inscribed in the records of Ghanaian football, and your spirit will continue to soar with the black stars, guiding them to ever greater heights in the continent and beyond. Ghanaians express their gratitude for the countless memories you have left behind and beseech the Almighty to strengthen all those who may have affected by your demise. Rest in eternal peace, our legend. Amen. Our faces, the nod of our heads, followed by a faint yes, made us so proud even to this day. Indeed, good name is better than riches. Captain Quay, we are grateful to God for choosing you as a father. We are happy to have come from your loins, and if we are given a chance to pick a father in the next life, we will gladly choose you over any man. You paved the way for your two sons in football, though your greatness made it difficult for us because they tried to compare us to you, it also became a foundation for us to go on. We can't thank you enough for what you gave us. It was more than material possessions. Your words were little, but full of life and living jokes. Your emotions were invincible, and we couldn't notice sadness on your face. The strength and attention you gave us each time that we were sick was enough to bring us healing, but we pretend to be sick so that we can enjoy you the more. You allowed us to make our own mistakes so as to learn from it. Though we were not many, you sometimes forget our names and call us brother and sister as we also respond by calling you Brawley. We still can picture you in your commercial bank overall uniform as we wait for you by the roadside to get your bag because there is always something in that bag for us. At home, you always had your singlet as a weapon hanging on your right shoulder, which you used to prevent the stubborn mosquitoes from feeding on you while you lay skillful on one chair without falling. We never needed to go out to friends because there is enough games, toys, comfort, and food enough for us, for both us and friends. This made it impossible to live a day without being in our house. Daddy, you were one of a kind, a devoted father to all, a loving husband to our mother, a role model to your grandchildren, a hero to every Ghanaian child, a legend to the game of football, a grand ambassador to Choco Polygono, and the girl tradition as a whole. You were a leader to your colleagues, both on and off the field of play. You make the work simple for your coaches like CK John Fee and Osam Dodu, who never have to worry because they have the black for you in defense. No wonder, even children from other tribes were named after you. And the, and the light, and like the saying goes, I will, Quay will never die. Your legacy lives on, Captain Quay. You ask of nothing in return from us just to promise to defend and honor the name I will equate so we pass the baton to the next generation. Though your blood is blue and white because of great Olympics, yet your heart is as big as the national flag of Ghana. Yes, you indeed fought a good fight with sickness. You ran the race of life, finished your course as a chosen son of the land, and kept the faith in God. May the Lord reward you accordingly. In Jesus' name, amen. Emmanuel Awilekwe 
a football hero, a leader, an icon, and a statesman. The number of ordinary folk who have turned out on this fateful day to pay their respects to a man who led Ghana to glory in his days as a footballer. A man who served his nation with passion, undiluted dedication, and a leader whose, and a whose tenure Ghana won the 1978 African Cup of Nations. Not only did he excel as a national team player, he also made an immense contribution to the Accra Great Olympics in the 19, 1970s. The Ghana Football Association remembers the immaculate role he played as captain of the Black Stars and other national teams. The entire football fraternity is certain about his enormous contribution to football and the great services he offered Ghana, Africa, and the world. Although it is sad to see him leave us, we have a strong belief that he is in safe hands, having paid his dues to the game of football and giving his all to our beloved sport. The renowned son of Ghanaian football left an indelible mark on the sport in the country with his enviable leadership qualities. Quay's commitment, character, leadership qualities, and passion for both club and country will forever remain etched in our memory. I quote the words of the DFA president when he met with the family. I'll start by expressing my condolences to that of the Football Association to the family. Awule Kwe Senior was a veritable pillar. It's unfortunate that that's the reality of life. The Holy Book tells us that we will all be gone at some point in our lives. President Ket Simon Okraku said, The time we depart this earth is not in our hands. Fortunately, he lived his life and he did it well. And on behalf of the GFA, we want to express our condolences to you all. Like I said, Senior has played his part and contributed immensely to the success and forward match of Ghana football. This funeral is our funeral, and we work closely with you, the family, to ensure we give him the, rest, the respect he deserves. You can always count on us. We will ensure we give him a befitting barrier, the President added. As our last words to him on this day, we are proud to say he has created a black void of space that will be difficult to fill. The moment we live with us forever, forever in our hearts, it was wonderful being with you. We got grant to a peaceful journey until we meet again. Ye, let me refer to you, the Council Reverend. Ye, ye, ya wajubwa. Ghana football will forever be grateful to, to you for your undiluted and unraving service. Thank you.
Thank you very much, sir. I humbly invite Mavis Awulikwe to lay the ring. I humbly invite Mavis Awunikwe to lead the week.
Thank you very much, sir. The faith rate will be laid on behalf of the Ghana Football Association. I am in violation, Mr. Okreku. Thank you very much, sir. The city will be laid on behalf of the church. Thank you very much.
Lord that I serve unto the Lord. For in thy sight shall no man live in the testified. And I have not of the remission of all his sins. Therefore we seek the little sin of the God of all man and the Holy Spirit. Whom the full person who commanded unto thee. By the sake of thy grace, let him know he live. But so the Son of the Holy Trinity we found where to escape the ability to be taught. Who livest and reinest, where be thou to end? Amen.
Shall we please rise to our feet?
Thank you.